there's going to be a gradual but very definite deployment of autonomous technology. <coughs> Nobody is going to throw a big switch and we suddenly enter the AV era. It'll be gradual, incremental, it'll take a number of years, but it's very deliberate. And I also want to wind into my comments here that there are really three different trends that are intertwined. One is automation, the second is artificial intelligence, and the third is electrification. And the vehicles of the future in general and in the heavy equipment industry will combine all of those trends. If we look a bit further ahead, next five, ten years, by ten years out, most of the heavy equipment vehicles will be at least partially automated and some of them will be fully automated. There's also going to be a lot of huge improvements in artificial intelligence. At the moment, you have very specific artificial intelligence. You can design a computer with software to play chess better than a human, or to fly a plane, um, or to drive a heavy hauler. In 10 years time, we will have computers with artificial intelligence where one machine can do a whole bunch of things better than anybody here, including myself. That's how much is really going to change. If we look further out, 10 to 15 years to the early years of the 2030s, we're going to see humanoid robots. Robots that are designed a bit like a human with a head and arms and legs, but can do a lot of good things. And one of the visions we have for the 2030s is that if any of you have any legacy vehicles, Let's say in the 2030s, any old-fashioned vehicles built in, the 29, built in 2019, then by the 2030s, we'll have androids that can get into one of those and drive it, as well as probably better than a human. This is not science fiction, it's coming into folks. One of the other big trends we see, and it was alluded to a few minutes ago, is a move, a trend away from the equipment side to the service side. And this mirrors what's happening in the auto sector. There's going to be a, a bunch of impacts on work on all of you folks. By the early 2030s, we predict that 80%, 80% of the equipment being sold will use electric powertrains rather than diesel. Big change. And this has a big impact, as Brian was saying, on the technicians. And in the future, the technicians need a lot more expertise, not just the ability to um, repair mechanical systems, but layered on that experience, expertise in the electric drivetrains, electronics, software, automation, a whole different set of expertise. There should be one key negative, the impact on jobs. As we move forward, I've got three recommendations for companies like yourselves and your clients. First of all, monitor what's happening. A lot of things are happening, as Brian said, it's happening very, very quickly. Um, look and monitor what's happening in both the technology space and the evolution of the service sector as opposed to the equipment-based models. Do network with the manufacturers to see what their plans are, their visions for the future as well. So in terms of your business models, I do recommend that you build in flexibility in your business models, especially in terms of the extent and the timing of the trend towards service-based models. And the third recommendation is the need to start developing the technician of the future today. It's going to take a while to do that. Finally, this to me is a really exciting time in history. We've seen the dawn of a whole new era. It's very quoted in my mind to when the first Model T Fords came off the production line in 1908. We know how much that changed individual lives, society, infrastructure, businesses, and we are seeing, we are day one of a whole new trend that will change all of this as much all over again. Make no mistake, this is going to be very disruptive. 
there's going to be opportunities, business opportunities and challenges. Job losses, as I mentioned, pushback. I think the winners in the 2030s will be those companies who can stay ahead of the curve and look into the impact and plan for it. And the losers, there will be losers, will be those companies who just wait for the technology, by which time it will be too late.